Hey everyone, this is the Misogyny Meltdown, the only show where we use celebrating women as a witty dig at male fragility. Who is this? That is, oh my god, hold on, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Oh my god, could you imagine if you got RBG wrong? I don't know, should we change the topic of the meltdown to Netflix being childish? <laughs> no, I made notes for today. <laughs> <laughs> While eloquently explaining to us the consequences our actions have on our climate, Greta Thunberg also managed to get one of the most inarticulate men arrested with just a tweet and a pizza. We love to see it because she is going to take back country for mm -hmm. Black women because Black women originate in country music. And rock and roll. And rock and roll. And then white men stole it. As looking, they do. Looking at you, Elvis. Oppenheimer just gets to make the bomb. Okay, <laughs> that, okay. So my meltdown part was literally outlining how Kitty Oppenheimer and Gene Tatlock's Wikipedias are more interesting than their characters in Oppenheimer. What, you? no, no, not the trad wives. Ugh. Their views are archaic not historic. Should you divorce men, you may get to be friends with Taylor Swift, icon. Yeah. And by interesting, I mean, girl, why? Why did you do that to yourself? Well, maybe because she's like, oh, this is a smart guy. And it's a different type, right? Because he's an yeah. author and he's an intellectual and like, yeah. To me, they've done the fucking impossible. I mean, Lily Gladstone had Leonardo DiCaprio pull off being attracted to a woman over the age of 25 you picked a bad man's movie <laughs> yes <laughs> and then you picked the man that the women are trying to kill <laughs> i put the bad guy from the bad man's movie yes okay did you understand what your challenge was <laughs> yes no so so there's this three and a half hour movie about how white men literally stole from indigenous people on mm -hmm. purpose and then when you go to their Wikipedia, you find out they were acquitted. And then we had some blonde put a little known sport on the map for all of us. Yeah, because I am on a Leonardo DiCaprio hiatus. I am boycotting I Leonardo DiCaprio and his stupid fucking squint. Well, is she a monster or did men make her that way? Like he came on my show. The misogyny meltdown and jd did this too during the game you came on my show and i'm gonna address it twice my show is called the misogyny meltdown <laughs> you came on my show to stick up for the likes of leonardo motherfucking <laughs> dicaprio when um transphobia and homophobia was on the rise and it led to a lot of drag shows being banned and drag being banned in states dropout tv went not fucking on our platform and he's DMing Dungeons and Drag Queens. I'm like, oh, so Diana's gonna be the one to take the, the fall for, for this because she did? I go, America's princess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, the, the woman who's Beanie Baby I used to sleep with that night? She's she's taking the fall? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. uh, he is a feminist icon because he is truly the only man now who does not make me cringe when they come across my feed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, even me? Right? Yeah. And I remember like the ceremony where Charles was getting crowned and people were like, mm, no, he brought, I, I see he's brought his little friend <laughs> to, the, to the coronation, his little girlfriend to the coronation. We will never, refer, we will never recognize Camilla. She is not our queen. <laughs> she is I don't not. even know this bitch, but I will like, I'm like, no. Mm -mm. Nope. Your little girlfriend, even though you gave her a crown. Oh, no. your little hoe got to come to the party. That's nice. Yeah. Adams, it's so important for young girls to see men mm -hmm. treat women well. And we yes. don't we don't see it very often. We see a lot of exhausted and exasperated husbands and a lot of nitpicky, nagging wives. Yeah. What are you doing to celebrate women, womanhood, and women's work this month? Well, hey, How embarrassing. <laughs> I know. <sighs> I'm just going to keep saluting you. Yeah. I don't have to justify how I'm celebrating Women's Month because I am Women's Month. <laughs> I am Women's Month. You're every woman. I'm every woman. It's all uh, in me. <laughs>